what's up y'all what's up y'all so i'm coming in here so i can do a little mini vlog i got i mean mini little mini mukbang so i made this beet you see that beet cucumbers i put my little toppings on it some onions you know i'm trying to be on my little healthy tip y'all see and then I got some kombucha. Yeah, so that's what we doing. I wish y'all I could. Um, you know I'm on my little healthy tip. When I want to be. I put beets, raisins, cucumber, onions, cranberry. Yeah. I took my wig off when I came home. From outside. Take some. I know some of y'all like, oh, that's nasty. You know? Is that all she eating? Nope. I made some dirty rice with impossible sausage. This is just my appetizer. It's a citrus immune boost kombucha. It's so good. I'm telling y'all, it got a good taste to it, like the raisins and the cranberries.
they sweet, so they give it a little kick. So good. Okay, I'm back, y'all. So now I have my quote-unquote dirty rice. See? Mm -hmm. Impossible sausage with basmati, balsamati, basmati rice. Take some. Happy Sunday. I didn't get that much. And yeah, I'm using a plastic bowl because I don't feel like doing extra dishes. Oh, and I cooked it in avocado plant-based um, butter. I'm trying to be healthy in these streets. Operation Operation Find a Boo Thing by summer 2024. So I need to be swim and trim. Kombuchas are so good. They do have a lot of sugar, though. I noticed that. Like 15 grams, but they're good. What y'all eating for dinner today? This tastes like real life sausage, I think. I haven't had like dirty rice because you know my mom used to make it back in the day with, I forgot that the ground sausage. So since I don't really eat pork and stuff no more, I never thought to make um, dirty rice, but I was like, let me make my rendition of dirty rice. <laughs> this impossible meat is good.
finger. I went to church today and honey, Miss Thane preached, Pastor Wallace from Brooklyn, she preached. I was in church on Friday. Pastor um, S.Y. Younger, he preached. Yeah, so I'm, so I'm going to work, I'm going to work, I'm starting my Monday full. Thank God, because you need the fullness of the Holy Ghost when you're dealing with the folks sometimes. Take some. Anyway, y'all, I'm getting full. You know why? Because I had that um that bowl of beets and cucumbers, so I'm getting full. But anyway, um, comment down below what y'all cooking for dinner today, because I know I I like honestly I I like watching different um mukbang channels but now like i like watching like the healthy ones before i wouldn't have even thought of watching the healthy mukbang channels because i you know they i would think they were like boring but no all it is everybody starting to be vegan and pescatarian and vegetarian so they coming up with all these different um healthy meal ideals ideas i still haven't i still don't be trying to cook what other people be cooking um but i just like watching those different um healthy meal ideas and, and of course i still like watching my be love you know when i can and stuff like that the only thing about watching be love i remember when i was watching her and wanting to get those crab warriors and all that grease then guess what happened cholesterol issues so yeah we can't be doing so i haven't had a seafood boil in a whole year a whole year since november or october of 2022 and i'm talking about I, I'm somebody that me and my kids was eating seafood like every week. Well, me and my younger daughter. Yeah. Because you know, when you have cholesterol issues, you really got to watch your seafood intake. <laughs> 